my response to Bobby Parrish, the worst artificial sweeteners. Rob at Fear and Perform and the title of this video, the worst artificial sweeteners at the grocery store. And from that title, I'm already interested. Let's break this down and give my opinion. What is up? It is Bobby, a video all about the worst artificial sweeteners. There's a lot more man-made artificial sweeteners and these are really bad sweeteners, you guys. Ones are devastating for the gut. Some artificial sweeteners though, may disrupt the balance of some gut bacteria in some people, okay? We need more well-round conducted studies, long-term research studies to confirm whether there is a negative effect on artificial sweeteners and gut health. Uh, for your health can actually lead to more uh, weight increases. Uh, so, weight gain, okay? When it comes to weight gain, all right, it's hard to say that artificial sweeteners will cause weight gain. I will reference some studies in the description if you wanna go and check them out. When it comes to weight gain, all right, if you consume more calories than what your body expends, this will cause a weight increase. Calories in, calories out. Artificial sweetener drinks are a great alternative for decreasing the number of sugar consumption and extra calories in your diet. So what do you think is going to be better for weight loss? Huh? Yep, you guessed it. It's the sugar-free alternative. The dreaded artificial sweetener equals the sweet and lows, the splendas. These are the aspartame, saccharin, sucralose that are devastating for your health. Devastating! They're going to be devastating to your health! What? That's a very strong word to use. Look, most artificial sweeteners are considered safe by health authorities, okay? So, artificial sweeteners are, they are sugar substitutes, all right? They are chemicals added to some foods and beverages to make them taste sweeter, okay? So you're kind of getting the same feeling as having a sugar beverage. But they're considered safe, guys, okay? They are. You'd have to have a lot of artificial sweeteners for it to be devastating, okay? It's a very strong word to use. These are the kind of sweeteners that actually trick your brain into craving more sweets. So people who eat these kind of sweeteners actually end up gaining more weight, having more risk of type 2 diabetes. I need evidence. I need evidence on this, okay? Now, because I can tell you that there is evidence on artificial sweeteners being beneficial in decreasing body weight. And, okay, let's compare, okay, an artificial sweetener beverage to a sugar beverage, all right? One's got three calories in, one's got 100 calories in. One's got more calories in than the other. They're non-nutritive sweeteners. They offer no nutrition. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. Most artificial sweetener beverages don't have much nutrition. However, you can get your vitamins and minerals through other whole foods in your diet and they can be added. So what's the worry there? Like, what is the worry? The fake sugar ones are really bad. Look at this. It's zero calories, zero fat, zero sugar, toxic ingredients in here. So this one here, I'd rather you have this. It actually has real ingredients, even though it's zero calories, 100 calories, more added sugar and more calories. Bad idea, bad idea if you're trying to reduce your calorie intake. Bad example, really. How do you flower puree dressing? The thing is, look at the ingredients. Personally, personally, this seems very stressful. Yeah, th that is a better option, uh, still more calories. Uh, but for most people, let's say, do you want to pick up every single theme and look at the ingredients list and worry if it's going to harm you or not, when it probably won't in the short term. No, no I don't. More likely going to increase my stress levels, 100%. 39 grams of sugar, zero grams of sugar. If I had the choice between Diet Coke and regular Coke, I'd probably choose regular Coke because the cane sugar is less evil than all those horrible sweeteners and- <sighs> From a weight loss perspective and a type 2 diabetes perspective, let's say, all right, a high number of calories and added sugar, okay, and in the sugar beverages, you can consume a high number of calories quickly. So a high number of calories, an increase in body weight if you consume too much. And the overconsumption of added sugar is more likely going to increase your risk of type 2 diabetes in the long run. Okay, so I will reference some studies below. I will reference some studies, of course I will. You are more likely going to consume less sugar and calories if we consume the sugar-free beverage. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think so too. So he would rather consume the sugar beverage. Well, 
Everyone else, don't do that. Read the ingredients, my friend. We see what kind of sweetener they're using here, and it's sucralose. Still, a little bit is really devastating for your health. The long-term health effects of sucralose is it's still unclear, guys, all right? But health authorities consider it to be safe. They consider it to be safe, guys. There is no clear-cut evidence suggesting that sucralose is going to be harmful in humans. Not that I know of, anyway. Look. You can probably still have it in small amounts, all right? So like moderation with anything. Any of these Rebels is a way better choice. The macros on this stuff are amazing. Look at that. But there's more calories in that option. Stating for your gut that after three doses of Maltitol, you're for sure going to poop your pants. Maltitol. Now, Maltitol is generally considered safe. But if you have large amounts of it, you may experience some bloating or some gas. Uh, it's really dependent on the person. But for the majority of people, it is considered considered safe so it will be fine guys guys if you want to go and check out his full video on this go to his channel so what's my conclusion on all of this well depending on the artificial sweetener some artificial sweeteners still will have calories now if we compare that to a sugar beverage and a sugar alternative so a sugar free alternative is still going to have fewer calories so from a weight loss perspective uh, and a type 2 diabetes perspective if you want to say that less added sugar less calories it's going to be good so yeah that's my opinion on that now when it comes to the research there is no conclusive long-term research suggesting that artificial sweeteners are going to have harmful effects to your gut health and your body weight gain uh, again we need more research uh, on this to confirm if there is effect or a causation uh, there's just not enough in my opinion to really make that claim now when experimenting with some artificial sweeteners they will have a different uh, let's say sweetness so some people will respond differently to an artificial sweetener than others and i think they pose few risks some people may have a negative effect to an artificial sweetener if you have a negative effect to a artificial sweetener don't have it it's it's that simple but for most people it is well tolerated and it is considered safe now artificial sweeteners do have their benefits in decreasing added sugar consumption and calories in your diet just remember this one point i tell you over consume on your calories increase body weight you can have a sugar beverage if you'd like just consider your cal calorie intake and try to keep it within a reasonable amount all right so that's why i always say with moderation with these things i try not to over consume just don't jug them down because they you can really over consume added sugar beverages that's why the alternative drinks these the sugar-free beverages are better options in the sense of controlling that calorie intake when drinking those drinks that's my breakdown done subscribe i'm out